It is time Mule now train. for the Mule Train News Program on this Friday, June the 15th, 2018, Mule brought train. to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. The city of Mule will hold on Saturday from 7 in the morning till 7 at night at City Hall a special runoff election to fill the council position District 2. And on the ballot, you will find Lupe Mendoza and Craig Black's names. Now, of course, you have to live in District 2 in the city of Milshue and be a registered voter to be eligible to vote from 7 Saturday morning until 7 Saturday night at City Hall here in Milshue, right across the street from the... First Bank of Milshue. Also, on Saturday morning, the 24th annual Tour to Milshue bike ride will be held. It starts at 8 o'clock, but you can register from 7 until 8 at the Bailey County Coliseum, 2206 West American Boulevard, and registration packet is only $30. And this is all going to the Muleshoe Heritage Foundation. Now, there are three rides. They all start at the Bailey County Coliseum here in Muleshoe at 8 o'clock, and they follow a triangle course. The 10-mile is flat with good shoulders, one rest stop at halfway. The 40-mile begins with a small rolling hills for the first 10 miles, followed by the 12 miles of scenic sand hills ending in... 18 miles of ups and downs. The 100K follows a similar road conditions for the longer distance, and all the of these rides end back at the starting point at the Coliseum here in Muleshoe. Now, you start at 8 o'clock, but if you have not registered, you can register from 7 to 8 before the ride starts at the Bailey County Coliseum on Saturday morning. And this is sponsored by Leals of Muleshoe, First Bank of Muleshoe, Evolve, Mohawk Auto Parts, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, AIM Bank, and Capital Farm Credit. ANSI or Snell approved helmets are required for all riders. That starts the Tour to Muleshoe 24th Annual on Saturday morning at 8 o'clock at the Coliseum here in Muleshoe. And at the end of the ride, everyone will be served a spaghetti dinner. All money goes to the Muleshoe Heritage Foundation. Daniel Guzman, Justice of the Peace of Bailey County, at Monday's meeting of the Bailey County Commissioner's Court, resigned and Rodney Baker will be appointed to take his position starting July 7th. Rodney Baker, of course, was elected in the May runoff election as Bailey County Justice of the Peace starting in January, but he will now start on July the 7th. That's Rodney Baker. Funeral services for Willie Mae Graves, 88, of the Progress Community will be held Saturday afternoon at 1 at the Muleshoe Church of Christ. Visitation will be Friday night from 5 to 7 at McCarty Funeral Home, 
located at 1303 Griffin Street in Littlefield. Willie Mae Graves was born October the 22nd, 1929 to John Washington and Hattie Mae Wright Polly in Arkansas. She was the youngest of their 10 children. Willie Mae married Eldridge Graves on November the 12th, 1955, and they had 12 children, Bonnie Martin, Jerry Opal Washington, Melinda Graves, Mary Graves, Arthur Graves, Ella Fisher, Sandra Graves, Billy Graves, Parnell Graves, Eldridge Graves, Jr., Joyce Graves, and Darlene Graves. Please remember all the family of Willie Mae Graves of the Progress Community in your prayers. Willie Mae enjoyed reading the Bible, working in her flower garden, and talking on the phone to her family and friends, repeating funeral services for 88-year-old Willie Mae Graves of the Progress Community will be held Saturday afternoon at 1 at the Milshu Church of Christ. Visitation will be Friday evening, 5 until 7, at McCarty Funeral Home in Littlefield. Funeral services were held for Delia Hernandez, 89, of Milshu, on Thursday at the Macklin Conception Catholic Church of Milshu, where she was a member with the priest of that congregation, Father Renai Perez of Milshu, officiating. Beryl was in the Milshu Memorial Park under the direction of Ellie's Funeral Home of Milshu. Delia Hernandez died on Monday here in Milshu. She was born January the 22nd, 1929 in Hidalgo, Mexico to Jose and Antonia Gomez. She married Epifanio Hernandez in Mexico on September 19th, 1955. They first came here and worked for the Jack Schuster family. And then they operated El Huasteco Restaurant in downtown Milshu. Delia also was a homemaker and a member of the Immaculate Conception Catholic Church of Milshu. She was preceded in death by her husband, Epifanio, who died in 2014. Her parents, her sister, Maria, D. Los Angeles, and two brothers, Pepe and Gustavo Gomez. Delia Hernandez is survived by her son, Oscar, and his wife, Liberty, and also her daughter, Hasul Hernandez, all of Milshu. And there are also four grandchildren, Vienna Barone and her husband, Jaime, Olympica Reyes and her husband Gerardo, Shalab Hernandez, and Celeste Ruiz and her husband Jesus. And also there are 12 great grandchildren who survive Delia Hernandez. You can send online condolences to the family of Delia Hernandez at www dot ellie's funeral homes dot com and please remember all of this family in your prayers funeral services for ellen morgan 89 of Florida, formerly of milshu were held on thursday afternoon at the calvary baptist church in milshu where she was a member with her pastor brother jeff kaufman officiating Beryl was in the Fairlawn Cemetery in Amherst under the direction of Ellie's Funeral Home of Milshu. Ellen died on Monday in Plainview. She was born October 14, 
1928 in Blanchard, Oklahoma, to Henry S. and Mary Ka Katie Perry Corley. She married Horace Morgan in Clovis on January the 4th, 1947. Ellen Morgan was a seamstress in Milshoe for many years and sold years ago for the banks here in Milshoe when the ladies wore uniforms. She was a member of the Calvary Baptist Church of Milshoe, and Ellen was preceded in death by her parents. Ellen Morgan is survived by her husband, Horace, and her two sons, James Morgan and his wife, Mary Ann of Lisbon Falls, Maine, and Dennis Morgan and his wife, Ginger of Floydada. Her two daughters, Charlotte Shields of Lubbock and Deborah Minnick of Floydada, eight grandchildren, 13 great-grandchildren, and one great-great-grandchild who is a grandson survives. The family ice that memorials be sent to Area Co Community Hospice, 4300 Olton Road in Plainview, and that zip is 79072, or to the Alzheimer's Association of the South Plains, 3610 22nd Street, Suite 300 in Lubbock, and that zip is 79410. Please remember all of the family of... Ellen Morgan, 89 of Floyd Ida, former longtime resident of Milshu, in your prayers. Online condolences to her, the Morgan family can be made at www.elliesfuneralhomes.com. And now it is time for K&K Pharmacy here in Milshu on West American Boulevard to bring you the weather forecast for Muleshoe, Sudan, Amherst Earth, and our entire vicinity. But first, a message from our sponsor. K&K &K Pharmacy in Muleshoe, where Kay Campbell and Christine Isaacson and all their employees remind you to keep your heroes healthy because Father's Day is this Sunday, June 17th, and all of June is Men's Health Month. k, &K Pharmacy will be providing blood pressure and blood sugar screenings all this week and have great gift baskets perfect for Dad for Father's Day. The product of the month for June is the Men's Superior Multivitamin, which helps bodies regulate testosterone, increases energy, and supports healthy heart function and circulation. On Tuesday, June 26th, k, k Pharmacy, as part of their Living Well with Diabetes series, they will have a free class, Losing Weight the Wise Way. They will help you develop a weight loss plan by using the weight loss triangle of diet, exercise, and mentality, and give out free gifts for attending like a diabetes meter, free food, and free diabetes supplies. That's Tuesday, June 26 at k, k Pharmacy from 6.30 until 7.30 p.m. Follow k, &K Pharmacy on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Or you can find them on their website at knkpharmacy.com. Call 806-272-7511 or come into K&K &K Pharmacy, 1411 West American Boulevard in Muleshoe, Texas. Well, the high here at Channel 6 on Thursday was 94. The low was 67. Wednesday, the high was 92. The low was 64. Tuesday, it was a hot one at 103, and the low was 63. We did get some rain chances, but we just missed them all this week. As Tuesday evening, about 6 p.m., a severe thunderstorm warning was issued for the Muleshoe Needmore Circleback area, and a large thunderstorm appeared to uh, be set to roll across us but it just fell apart before anything really happened then again thursday morning early around 1 a.m a line of thunderstorms approached from the northwest through uh, new mexico and as it crossed the state line and a 
appeared it was about to give us a good deal of rain. It just fell apart as well, so we've just missed the rain this week. But hopefully those chances are about to turn around as we have some serious rain chances in our forecast for the next several days rolling into next week. Sunny, high near 93 deg- uh, degrees today on Friday for the Muleshoe area. South winds 15 to 20 miles per hour, then mostly clear tonight. Low around 64 degrees south winds between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Saturday, our rain chances start with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Mostly sunny, high near 85 degrees, so it's going to be cooler as well. South winds between 15 and 20 miles per hour. Gusts as high as 30 miles per hour on the day on Saturday. And again, a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Those rain chances begin at 7 a.m. on Saturday morning and roll all through the afternoon hours into Saturday evening. But then it even gets more interesting with our rain chances going up to 70% Saturday night. Showers and thunderstorms are likely mostly cloudy, low around 62. It's going to be breezy with a south wind 20 to 25 miles per hour, decreasing to 15 to 20 miles per hour after midnight. A 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms during the day on Sunday. Partly sunny, high near 87 degrees south winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour. Sunday night, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Partly cloudy, low around 61. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Monday, again, a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Mostly sunny, high near 88 degrees. South winds 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming east-southeast in the afternoon. Monday night, a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Partly cloudy, low around 61. South southeast winds between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Tuesday again a a chance of showers and thunderstorms partly sunny. High near 86 Tuesday night. Uh, Once more a chance of rain and thunderstorms mostly cloudy. Low around 61. Spoke with my brother Grayson and the weather uh, uh, the National Forest Service is preparing them in uh, the uh, Forest Service for the monsoon season to set in all this weekend and through next week into New Mexico, uh, northern and central New Mexico. So it looks like we're going to get some good uh, beneficiary rain off of that monsoon season that will start in New Mexico and and spread into our area in the South Plains and Panhandle region and hope that we get some good rain uh, out of all of this. And again, our forecast for today on Friday, sunny, high near 93, south winds 15 to 20 miles per hour, mostly clear tonight, low around 64, south winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Then Saturday, our rain chances begin in the morning and roll all through the afternoon and evening hours. And overnight, with a 30% chance of showers and and thunderstorms during the morning and afternoon, mostly sunny, high near 85 degrees. Gusts as high as 30 miles per hour Saturday afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms likely with a chance of precipitation at 70% Saturday night. High, uh, low will be around 62 degrees in breezy conditions. A 30% chance of rain during the day on Sunday. Sunday night, a 20% chance of rain, partly sunny. High near 87, low around 61. The rain chances continue through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday next week. k k Pharmacy has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. One more thing I'll add in here. I totaled up the rain total so far through 2018 at the Muleshoe Mesonet Station, two miles south of town, and they are at two inches and 28 hundredths total on the year. So we're way behind any type of average uh, here in the Muleshoe area, so we desperately need this rain. Gary and Glenda Dale of Muleshoe have a new great-grandson born Thursday to their grandson and his wife, Blake and Kayla Henry. Grandparents are Mike and Monica Henry of Lubbock, who both were reared right here in Muleshoe. He has been named Titan Michael Henry. At birth, he weighed eight pounds even and is 21 inches long. Congratulations to all of the family of Titan Michael Henry on his birth in our good world. Gary and Glenda Dale are his great-grandparents right here in Muleshoe. 
Mike and Monica Dale, Henry uh, of Lubbock are his grandparents, and his parents are Blake and Kayla Henry. Chloe Elizabeth Parker, granddaughter of Albert and Linda Lee, and great-granddaughter of Dorothy Lee, all of Milshew, is a member of the Spirit Wind High School Choir that performed here in Milshew Tuesday evening at the First United Methodist Church. She is 16 years of age and the daughter of Eric and Audra Parker of Midland. Her mother, the former Audra Lee, a Milshu High School graduate, also was a member of Spirit Wind when she was in high school. Audra and Eric Parker are in Ireland for two weeks right now, and their son, Caden, is staying here in Milshu with his grandparents. Chloe will end her tour with Spirit Wind on Sunday, and she will be returning to Milshu to stay with her grandparents until her parents come back from Ireland. Happy Father's Day to all fathers, and God bless you, each one. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just one moment. Please stay tuned. Take control of your first bank of Mule Shoe debit card right from your smartphone with the My Mobile Money app. It's customizable card monitoring and controls that help you manage your accounts with My Mobile Money app. You can set interactive controls to help monitor activity and prevent unauthorized use. You can turn your card on or off, set alerts, and deny transactions based on merchant or transaction type and location. Monitor and control dependent cardholder usage. Receive notifications of possible fraudulent transactions and take action. Deposit checks through your phone. Download the My Mobile Money app now at the App Store or Google Play. For more information, you can also call the First Bank here in Neal Shoe, 806-272-4515, or go by 202 South 1st Street, the first bank right here in Neal Shoe, offering the My Mobile Money app. Available at the App Store or Google Play, call the first bank here in Neal Shoe, 806-272-4515, or go by 202 South 1st Street, the first bank member FDIC. This is Isla Reynolds. I am seven years old. And I know one thing, that Liao's Mexican food is the best. I love the chips and salsa at Liao's. The enchiladas are super. You have to try the guacamole and tapapillas. That's at my favorite Liao's in Milshu at 1010 West American Boulevard. Father's Day is Sunday, June 17th at Fry and Cogs, 401 South 1st Street in Milshu. It's your headquarters for the perfect gift for Dad, like the 63-piece channel lock socket set made of chrome vanadium steel. And it's a special of the month marked down to $29.97 now at Fry and Cogs. More great Father's Day gifts like Yeti cups, including a new color, and Yeti coolers, great patio chairs, glider rockers, 10 by 10 quick shade instant canopy, and more. Brand new in at Frying Cox Roundup for lawns, including the hose in sprayer bottles. Available kills the weeds and not the lawns. It will kill dandelions, dollarweed, clover, and more. It's getting hot out there. Frying Cox has 5,000, 8,000, and 10,000 BTU window air conditioners in stock, along with swamp coolers, box, personal desktop, pedestal, and oscillating fans. And the manager special for this month is the Bullseye Primer for all surfaces on sale for $13.99 with a $4 melon rebate, which makes the price $9.99 now at Frying Cox. All flowers are discounted and now priced to sell. Lots of vegetable plants still remain to get your garden up and running at Frying Cox, 401 South 1st Street in Muleshoe, Texas. They're open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. Come see them for the perfect Father's Day gift. We want to say a big happy birthday to Marshall Cook on Friday. A big, big happy, happy birthday to you, Marshall Cook. 
And also, on Thursday of this week, it was Karen Black's birthday, and our Bailey County judge, Sherry Harrison, celebrated her birthday on last Wednesday of this week. Also this week, Haney Porner, formerly of Muleshoe, now of Lubbock, celebrate his 81st birthday and we want to say a big happy happy birthday to Haney Porter 81 years young also another former resident of Muleshoe Jodine Jarman Neal celebrated her birthday this week and on Monday it will be be kind to Bailey Bales Day and Bailey just graduated from Texas Tech University a retirement reception Honoring Pat Young will be held on Tuesday, June the 26th from 11 until 4, and that will be at the studio where she works. In our bargain basement, we have for sale a three-piece living room suit. It includes a couch, a love seat, and an almost new recliner. The recliner has only been used for seven months. They want $450 for this living room suit. Call 806-272-4927 here in Milshew. That's for sale. A three-piece living room suit, including a couch, a love seat, and a recliner that is only seven months old. They want $450 for this living room suit. And you can call in Milshoe, 806 272 4927 Vacation Bible School will start on Monday at the First United Methodist Church in the evening, 5.30 to 7.30, and will run until Wednesday of next week. Also, on Monday morning of this next week, they will start a boys' basketball camp here in Muleshoe at Muleshoe High School Gym. It will be 9 until 12.30 each day, and it will cost $50. And this is a boys' basketball camp for six-year-olds through the eighth grade for Muleshoe and the surrounding communities. Also on Monday, the children, two through first grade have a program at the Milshoe Area Public Library during the month of June. It's every Monday and it is 10 until 1030 and parents must attend this program with their children. Then children in the second through the fifth grade will meet every Tuesday morning in June at the summer reading program at the Muleshoe Area Public Library, and that will be from 10 until 11. And each child is encouraged to wear crazy socks on June the 26th. Now, Aldrina Duman will be here on Wednesday from 2 until 3. And this will be a very interesting program as Aldrina is a Native American storyteller. Also, the library is having a summer reading program for adults. Just ask at the library about that program as well. 
at the Muleshoe Water Park here in the new city park of Muleshoe. They have added some new programs and extended others. Now, moms and toddlers can swim every Thursday night from 6.30 until 8. And on Saturday night, adults only can swim from 8.30 until 10. Now, still, the ladies only are 6.30 to 8 on Tuesday nights. And the teen night is 8.30 to 10 on Friday nights. Also, the regular hours of the Muleshoe Water Park is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 1 to 6, and Friday and Saturday, 1 to 8. They're closed on every Monday. And it is $3 for everyone and $30 for 10 times to come and swim at the Muleshoe Water Park. We want to say again to Muleshoe's Ingrid Mora, congratulations. She won first in the Masters figure and fourth in the Novice figure last Saturday at the NPC Mid-USA New Mexico State Bodybuilding Championship in Albuquerque. We are so proud of you, and I hope you are enjoying listening to her interview we had back in April. Now, Saturday morning at the Calvary Baptist Church, they will have a men's prayer breakfast at 8 o'clock. And on Father's Day evening at the Calvary Baptist Church, they will have at 5 o'clock a cookout for all the dads and families to come and celebrate. The Fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous meets every Tuesday and Friday nights at 7 at the First United Methodist Church here in Milshew, 507 West 2nd. For AA meetings, please use the fellowship hall door of the church. AA is a fellowship of both men and women who share their hope, strength, and experiences to stay sober one day at a time. Also, Al-Anon meets every Monday night at 7 at the First United Methodist Church. And please use the extreme south door to enter for the Al-Anon meetings. Al-Anon is for families and friends of alcoholics and our drug addicts. On Monday at the Onita Wagner Senior Citizen Center, they will have for lunch baked chicken with mushroom sauce, pinto beans, green beans, tossed vegetable salad with low-cal French dressing, cantaloupe for dessert, and your choice of drink. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just one moment. Please stay tuned. Ain Bank, Muleshoe, and Farwell is bringing many exciting opportunities to the Muleshoe, Last Buddy, and Farwell areas. And technology enhancements increase lending capabilities while keeping all of the same smiling faces you're used to in both locations. Ain Bank, Muleshoe joins the many area full-service Ain Bank locations in the Panhandle, South Plains, Permian Basin and Big Country regions of Texas combined with an ATM network of more than 750 Stripes convenience stores locations in Texas, New Mexico, along with Oklahoma. AIM Bank has a commitment of supporting local communities and their local customers right here in the Muleshoe area. AIM Bank, where a handshake still means something, both member FDIC and an equal housing lender. The Muleshoe Area Medical Center at 708 South 1st Street has two nurse practitioners, Christy Lee and Kristen Neely. You can make an appointment now by calling 806 
272-7544 at the Medical Clinic at Milshu with either Christy or Kristen. The Medical Clinic at Milshu is located inside of the Milshu Area Medical Center at 708 South 1st Street here in Milshu. Again, the number to call is 806-272-7544 to make your appointment now to see either Christy Lee or Kristen Neely, nurse practitioners at the Medical Clinic of Milshu. Tattered Tumbleweed is preparing for their huge 4th of July tent sale, which is scheduled this year from July the 2nd through July the 7th with big sales inside the store and out under the tent. Don't wait until the tent sale to come by and see Tattered Tumbleweed at 1405 West American Boulevard in Muleshoe as Gina and Shelly have totally rearranged the store. So come by and see it and enjoy a snack with them with complimentary tea, lemonade, coffee, and homemade cakes, cookies, or whatever they have baked fresh that day. Muleshoe, Texas shirts, a new design of the Muleshoe tea towels, Sudan Farwell, Last Buddy, and Muleshoe home decor pieces, and the newly laid out Tattered Tumbleweed 1405 West American Boulevard in Muleshoe, Texas. They're open Tuesday through Fridays, 10 a.m. till 6 p.m., and Saturdays, 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. at Tattered Tumbleweed. On our prayer list, please remember Hattie Ray Lambert and her family. She lives in Lubbock, but formerly lived here in Muleshoe. She is now in hospice care. Also, remember Ruth Hall of the Circleback community. And she is going to be starting treatments in the very near future for cancer. Matthew Alicon, son of Rick and Rhea Alicon, please remember this young man in your prayers. And also remember that there is still a fund at the AIM Bank here in Milshu open for Matthew Alicon to help with his medical expenses. Always remember Ryan in your prayers, Randy Smith and his wife Terry and their family, Butch and Doris Vandiver, Juan and Mabel Jaime, and we're glad to report that Holly Russell is home in the Last Buddy community. Also remember all of the people who are greatly affected in our country by the fires and also pray to keep our firemen safe as they fight these blazes. The people of Hawaii and also the people of Guatemala, Donna Burton and her family, Tony Barrier, who is at home, and Head is back in Lubbock taking more treatment, and she is staying at the Hope Lodge of the American Cancer Society there in Lubbock. Sonia Flores, Carolyn Harris, Jose Muniz, Roxanne Winders, Betty Freeman, Lisa Lee Hamilton, Lisa Lee, the former Lisa Hamilton, I should say, a daughter of Mr. and Ms. Charles Hamilton of Milshu, Joan Nix, Kathy Wilson. Also remember Jean Paul and Corlin Jarman, Sandy Noble and his wife Deborah, Betty Noble, and also Nona Marlowe. Lisa Oftenkamp, Evan Kelly. Please remember those in our military and their families. Morgan Young, Dusty Turner, Dustin Sturmer, Ranger King, Rusty Trider, Lane Wood, Bo and Brad Henry, Judd Glover, Erica Arzola, Treg Box, Gray Johnson, John Gillian, Patrick Precure, and all those who love them so very much. 
Tony Holmans, remember Tony in your prayers and his family and those who have lost loved ones recently. Ellen Morgan, Delia Hernandez, Willie Mae Graves, Ricardo Alberto, Jenny McVicker, Sandy Reyes of Earth, Letitia Garcia, Anita Mitchell, and Jody Blaylock and their families. Well, it's just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. You can hear our latest Mule Train rotating on the cable channel 6 as well. Find it free of charge on demand on our website, MuleShoeTV.com. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page. I'm Tumbleweed Smith. We'll hear from a Comanche Indian chief who uses a computer. Details in a moment on the Sound of Texas. And the Sounds of Texas are brought to you here on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well as MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe as well as in Morton. They're celebrating 77 years of rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric. They're owned by the members they serve. Call 806-272-4504. Check them out online, bcecoop.com. The Board of Directors the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle, all hope that you enjoy the Sounds of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. Luis Tijerina of Odessa is a Comanche chief known as Watching Wolf. For 30 years, he has worked for an oil company using a computer. I kind of take a twist on it and say that's the, the new modern smoke signals because it's all on the air. And so I, I've just uh, transformed it a little bit from, from the ancestry and made it to what it's new. We keep the, the data flowing for the oil companies. He performs what are called smudging ceremonies using a smoking bundle of sage and an eagle wing. It is a blessing. It's also a protection for the place. Uh, people come sometimes and ask me for a smudging because they're feeling bad. Uh, they're feeling negative. They're feeling down. And so I would give them a, a smudging and a cleansing with my eagle wing. And we believe that the eagle is the most powerful bird that exists and it has power to take those negative energies away. And so when I smudge them and rake them with the eagle wing, they are cleansed and purified and protected. I'm blessed. He has authentic Indian paraphernalia. Most of the regalia that I have on today is made by hand by me. It's a challenge to try to keep it in a natural way and not use anything that is not natural. Most of it is cotton or leather, and, and we try to stay to that, those natural fibers and, and materials. Chief Watching Wolf has written three books. I struggled with it at first because... It's not our people's way. We didn't write our history down. It was all word of mouth and handing it down from one generation to the next by example and what we were doing, and that's the way things were learned. And I decided I've got to put this down in writing so that when I die, it doesn't go with me. It's talking about my life and the plants and the herbs and the roots that we use to, for healing purposes. Recently, he did a smudging ceremony at the spring in Big Spring, which has undergone some major renovations. Luis Tijerina of Odessa, Chief Watching Wolf. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the Sound of Texas.